All right. Given everything that's happening in this country right now, a lot of people are looking for words of wisdom and comfort. And one of the people we've turned to in recent years for inspiration is the presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church, the most Reverend Michael Curry. Reverend Curry, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Great to be back with you. Boy, I got to say, looking at these images um, of things burning and people looting and all the pain and anguish is really distressing to lots and lots of people. And I read your op-ed in the Washington Post, and you basically said, find love. Um, and you understand the pain, but choosing love is hard in this moment. How do you help people go down that path, Bishop? Well, you know, the first thing is, it's a decision, and it's probably a daily decision uh, to choose to actually live the way of love, which is not about, not a sentiment. Um, I've said for a long time, the opposite of love is, is not hate. The opposite of love is selfishness. Mm. That the way of love is the way of seeking the good, the welfare, and the well-being of others, as well as the self. In the Hebrew scriptures, when Moses talks about love of neighbor in Leviticus, it's in the context of talking about people doing what is just and kind and decent. And when Jesus talks about it in Luke's gospel, he tells the parable of the Good Samaritan, somebody who helps somebody who is different than they are. So it's a decision, and it's a daily decision that I'm going to live an unselfish life that seeks the good of others as well as my own good. And when we all do that, we win. So if you were talking, because I feel like the sides are so far apart, everyone's blaming each other, and there's so much tension, and I keep thinking, like, how does this end? If you were going to speak to the protesters and to the police, like, what would you say to them? Well, first of all, I would say to both protesters and police, every one of us is a child of God. And if we are all children of God, which I think we can all agree on, most of us can, then that means that we are brothers and sisters and siblings of each other. We are related to each other. And so we have got to figure out how can we live together as a family, as a human family of God. Dr. King said a long time ago, we will either learn to live together as brothers and sisters or perish together as fools. Our choice is chaos or community. And so every one of us, police, what can I do to actually love as a police law enforcement officer who seeks the good of people? Protester, what can I do to seek the good and the welfare of others as I make my protests for a just social order so, so that people are not killed and abused and hurt and harmed? If everybody makes a decision mm -hmm. to work together for the good of others, we all get blessed. But it starts as a decision. And just quickly, Bishop Curry, at the end, are you optimistic? I am optimistic and determined. And let me tell you, I've come up with a symbol for love. Let's see. And it's not the heart, and that's okay. Okay. I've got a better symbol. What? It's this. Ah. This mask, the physicians tell us, I don't wear okay. it to protect myself. I wear it to protect you. And you wear it to protect me. And when we all do that, yeah. we all win. Bishop Curry, thank you for your language of love. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate you. Thanks for being here.